Hey guys, so I'm working on the um, cloud map type support. So right now the cloud has support for coverage. So that's like where the cloud's showing up. So you can see in this map, the black areas are where the clouds won't show up and the red areas are where the clouds will show up. You can adjust this with these options. So I'll just show it with a non-dynamic cloudy list. So we can just adjust that like this. And you can see as we increase the value, more and more clouds will cover the sky until the sky is completely covered with clouds. Now, in order to improve the realism of this effect, I wanted to add type support as well. So when we're thinking about cloud types, there's sort of three basic main types. There's like, I won't go into technical terms. So there's like really tall clouds. <laughs> there's like normal clouds and they're sort of like thin clouds. Um, and so this types, map allows us to interpolate smoothly between these three different types of clouds. Now, right now, the uh, weather map is, you, you sort of have one set of options that cover both the coverage, precipitation, and type. Here we'll just show coverage and type. So, um, for example, as we increase the scale of the coverage, it also automatically increases the scale of the type. So right now these two options are sort of tied together. I'm thinking that it makes sense to separate these, um, but I wanted to know what you guys thought about you know, that option and what sort of controls you would want to have over the cloud type. Um, so yeah, let me know. I'm interested to see what sort of features you'd like to have and uh, make sure that I add these features into Altos for you guys. All right, thanks for watching.